Well, good day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, Elliot and I are out here on the line, and uh, I just want to show you a real quick tip that we use for dog proofs. Now, um, you're probably wondering why I got a dog proof up in a tree. Well, I can tell you here in New Brunswick, we get all kinds of uh, awesome weather. We get snow when we're not supposed to get snow. We get rain when we're not supposed to get rain and all that stuff. So um, one of the things that we've developed here is a way to keep our dog proofs up off the ground if we want to. Now, there's several reasons that you might want to keep your dog proofs up off the ground. Like I just mentioned here for us, snow is one of them. So oftentimes during raccoon season, um, we'll get, you know, nights where there's four or five inches of snow. And uh, I don't want my dog proofs on the ground. I don't want them underneath the snow. And I don't want them to freeze up. And I don't want, you know, I don't want to bury them. So what we do is we move them up and we attach them using these great clips that we've developed right here. Um, we use them and we attach them onto trees. So they're quick and easy to do. And you just kind of pop them off like that, keep them up above the snow line, and then you just snap them back into the clip and they're good to go, right? So you've toggled them off. Obviously this one isn't yet, but obviously you've tied them off however you want to toggle your, your traps. You can also use them at on, on a sideways one, same thing. Just put it up, you know, you can move it up a little bit and put it, put it sideways like this. Raccoons have no problem with this. They're going to come over here. They're going to climb up. They're going to stick their hand in there and uh, they're going to be caught just the same as any other dog proof. Now, they're not on here solid enough that a raccoon is going to pull this off. So as soon as a raccoon's caught, they're going to struggle around a little bit. This is going to come off and then this is going to be, you know, your regular catch circle, your regular catch, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I try not to put them right straight up and down. Uh, the only reason is I don't want the raccoon to have to kind of reach up and then over and down. That's awkward. And you can get a lot of lower hand catches, right? Like across there. I want them to reach all the way in. So I put them at a little bit of an angle at least. But um, these clips for these trees are real easy to build, real easy to make. That's what I'm going to show you here today, how to make those. And again, some of the reasons you might want to use them, keep them up off the snow. The other thing is I do a lot of, um, Elliot and I do a lot of these dog proofs uh, along brooks, along small brooks. Um, Lots of times there's rocks or there's like sandy parts along the edge of the brook and they really don't, when you try to stick these in, just, when you try to stick these in like they don't this, go in. they don't go in and they, and they don't stay in, right? Like, like a little bit of water rushing by will move them around and whatnot. So what we do is we pick a tree, a little tree or whatever, close to the edge of the brook and we just pop them on like this. We don't have to worry about the rocky bottom. We don't have to worry about them falling over. We don't have to worry about the rising, you know, the up and down water levels too, right? Sometimes in the springtime, we'll do some ADC work uh, for some local farmers and try to get rid of some raccoons for them. Um, that type of ADC work, you're ending up, you know, especially with water that comes up and down. I don't want the water to flow up and be all over the trap. So we put them up a little bit like this. So mm -hmm. um, what else? See, sometimes you get frozen ground too. Uh, for those of you that live where there's not a whole lot of snow, but you, your ground freezes rock hard and you still want to put these in uh, again you got to wonder about, you know, driving them down into that frozen, that frozen ground. So this is way easier to do. And these clips are super easy to make. So stay with us. Elliot and I are headed into the shop now. We're going to make up a couple of these and show you how we do it. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to start out. Uh, all you need to do is have about three inches of uh, ABS pipe for each one of these that you're going to do. Uh, inch and a half. So uh, three inches, inch and a half ABS pipe is all that you're going to need. And then you see we're going to cut this three inches in length. Okay, so just on the chop saw, we're gonna cut it three inches and kind of scrape off any of the extra little bits of plastic and whatnot. Uh, once you've cut the three inches in length, you are going to take it over to the band saw. Okay, so you've got your piece cut uh, three inches um, and what you wanna do next is take it to the band saw and you just wanna cut it off center a little bit. So you don't wanna cut these directly in half, you wanna cut them just to one side. What I do is I set my blade from my fence an inch and an eighth. When you look at these, they're an inch and a half on the inside. Uh, so I want them an inch and an eighth puts them just a little bit off center when you cut them. Okay, so I'll show you that and uh, then I'll show you the end result. Okay, so there's what you're looking for right there. So you want to cut just a little bit off center. So you want this to be bigger than half. Right, so just about like that. 
you want to drill a couple of holes in it and these are just so that you can mount it to whatever you're going to mount it to so i just drill two small holes just big enough for the screws and then i take a, a second drill bit that's a little bit bigger and i drill about halfway through just to countersink them uh, i do this just so that these sit flat so that the trap sits flat in the holder okay and there you go that's it uh so this is what you've created this is uh three and a, three inches long and uh like i said cut off center just a little bit so a little more than half and i've got my two holes drilled that are countersunk in the back and your end result is that you can take this baby out and just attach it any way you want right to a tree to a piece of wood to a side of a barn whatever you want to do and then you just take your dog proof right and it just pushes in there just like that right and it's solid as can be anyway listen just a real quick tip um i hope this is something you can use out on your line these are uh just holders for dog proof traps that uh mean you can attach them anywhere you don't have to stick them in the ground so anyway hope this helps you out until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.